I'm back and today I'm gonna try making a different cheese so I'm gonna give it a go at making ricotta so I've had a look and the instructions seem pretty simple so hopefully this will work out fingers crossed the first thing we need to do is to make up some citric acid this one does not use rennet so it's only citric acid that we use <coughs> So I've got 125 mils of cold water and I'm going to add a teaspoon of citric acid and we're going to stir it around until it has dissolved. Okay, so in the saucepan I have got two litres of whole milk, and that's raw milk. So that's the pasteurised, unhomogenized milk. I think you can use just pasteurised, um, but that's what I've got. And I've added half of the citric acid and half a teaspoon of cheese salt. And we're going to heat this up to 76 degrees Celsius and I think that flakes should begin to form then so hopefully this will work out okay so we are coming up to 76 degrees and it's a very very slight simmer on the milk and at this point flakes should be appearing but I can't see any so they say to add a little bit more citric acid a spoonful at a time because too much will make the cheese bitter so let's see if that's done anything one more okay I can see specks on the spoon so I think that might be it I'm not sure but we're gonna now heat this up to 90 degrees Celsius you've got to be careful not to scald the milk Okay, it's just gone over 90, so we're going to turn off the heat, and as this is electric, we're going to take it off as well. And now, apparently the curd should start to form and rise to the top, and we've got to push them together with the spoon. Okay, now what we've got to do is leave this for 10 to 15 minutes and let the curds rise up and then we'll get it out. Okay, so I've left it for 15 minutes. I think it should have had more citric acid in it, but we have got some curds in there. I have got a cheesecloth over a colander over a bowl and I'm going to pour this in and see what we end up with. Okay. 
Now I'll empty the whey out of this uh, and then we're going to let it drain for, it says 10 minutes or until it drains freely. Or if you leave it for a few hours it should become creamy. So I shall let you know how long I left it for. Okay, so it's been draining for about an hour and nothing else is coming out of it. And it's, it's looking pretty good to me, so I'm going to transfer this into a bowl. So there it is in the bowl. Now I'm going to see if we can actually spread this. I've got myself a cracker. And it does spread. Okay, let's give this a taste. Mmm. That's nice and creamy. Mmm. So that was pretty simple, really. Quite easy. So come back next week and see what I make with the uh, ricotta. See you later.